Welcome back to Distorted Travesty 3. So, uh, things happened and I accidentally lost the footage of the recording of this video. And uh, thankfully, the game creator Zephyr is a good guy. And I managed to, you know, get this save file so that I can reenact not the sight reading of this section, but just the playing through it. So, this might mean, you know, that we might have a, a shorter video. As you can see, anyway, here we've got this uh, Zelda movable live floor task thing, and I jumped into the floor because I'm really great at video games like that. I know, it's one of my skills, so I'm probably gonna die. Yes! The thing is balanced around you having around 7 health, so if you just drop down to, you know, lose... Well, 7 hearts, not 7 health, so if you just lose a lot... Oh yeah, I should scan them, because why am I spamming bombs? Well, there you go. You're supposed to use bombs to break them. And there's nothing really of note, you know, they're just wall wall tiles, which, well, not wall, floor tiles, not wall tiles. They're called wall blocks. I don't know. Ah, interesting, interesting. And, uh, yes, uh, anyway, this time we're probably not going to fail because I have enough health to tank through everything. Or do I? Uh, maybe I don't. Nope. Video games. So they so they become they they become destructible and they start doing damage when they be, when they get reddish I guess wow look I'm actually making an effort to dodge things and all of a sudden I have tons of health and all of a sudden I've stopped making an no I haven't stopped making an effort I just got comboed incredibly evilly but still I'm gonna survive. Ah! All planned. Haunted by nightmares of the past. So here's the boss of this nightmare gate number two. And look at that. From the uh, from out of the darkness I rose to purge. It's the nightmare which is kind of fit. You know, kind of fit to be in the nightmare game. It's the nightmare from Link's Awakening. Side joke with Claire about the nightmare doing rhymes, huh? Okay. <laughs> Look at that cat smile. Girl nights. <laughs> oh, things were said. Yes, this this section you will see. Final nightmare. So let's scan him because we can. Most of his data is encrypted. This won't be like Link's Awakening. Well, Link's Awakening wasn't a platformer. As you can see, he's not very weak to arrows, but we will mostly use arrows at the start anyway. He escaped from the vault! Oh no! Am I recording properly? Because uh, that would be sad. Yes, I am. And, uh... It would have been this guy or Vati, which is maybe why the music is from Minish Cap. Who knows? And, uh... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fine, let's go. So he's got his tentacle-like things, and uh, he does this attack. And then he got has this attack, which I like to call the Danmaku attack. And basically, you know, hitting him with the sword is pretty dangerous, but it does four times the damage of an arrow, so you still want to do it when you can. Apart from that, yeah, so here I got an opening for sword blasting him. And just dodge this aim attack when you can. And he's gonna drop down now. And next time he drops down, the Danmaku attack will be pretty much impossible to dodge. But we've beat the first phase, so now on to the second phase, which is the, the phase of pain. So you got to aim your bomb so that they land inside of him like that. So thankfully I've you know, learned how to do this, so uh, so it's not like that. I've forgotten since last time, but yeah, so that. And it's pretty, it really is quite annoying trying to, uh, I did it, I was slightly too hard. It really is kind of annoying to figure out how the things work. At least he's not very dangerous. Damn it, jump, ah! Well, 
And then there's this attack, which is pretty hard to see because everything's so dark. So, what did I say? Like that. Well, it bounced... what? It bounced off downwards, whatever. Like that. Ah, ever so slightly too high. Bum, 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 bum. Here's where I want to do it. So, boom! Like that. Um, yes. I think we need three hits and then he'll move to something different. Yeah, too low. So, too high, I think. No, barely. Excellent. So the platforms on the side go away, and then there are spikes, and then it's mostly the same kind of stuff. Too high? Yes. This attack is a bit harder to dodge than before, but oh, you know, he needs two hits for this phase, so that's good. And now for the third phase. So now he has this eye thing, which of course signifies you have to use your arrows. Sword does zero now, so yeah, better not use it at all. And then he has all kinds of weird attacks with his tentacles. Also, I only take three damage. So I guess this save fight I got, you have a slightly stronger Jerry. Ah. Not that it matters. I'm experienced enough at that boss to just wreck him. Da -dum -bum -ba -dum -bum -ba -dum. Ah! Mm. 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 Ah, let's jump over him and oh, mess, mess it up. Oh, mess it up badly. Oh, he's closed. <laughs> oh, damn it. This is not going so well. But he's almost dead, yeah. Uh, what's happening? His health bar is healing back up! Oh no! Oh no! What's happening? I know, but you guys don't. And there you go. <laughs> it's the Shroud Law! This isn't even right. Uh, there's no, no different scanning. But he has all his good old uh, lightning things. But he doesn't really do anything, sadly. <laughs> he's a bit hes a bit on the easy side, so uh, t it's a bit too bad you couldn't see my blind reaction because I was kind of surprised, but then I killed him super easy anyway because, yeah, he doesn't do much. He do you know, it, what I would have liked is uh, he could have used his hands at least to slam the ground like he used to do. That would have been, I think, you know, not too hard because you can't have something too hard at that point after after an annoying boss fight. Uh, with a whole reg regenerating health thing. But I still think this should have been a bit harder. Anyway, back to the sacred temple, but I guess I guess since I have a different save file then I got the first dialogue, huh? That's okay, we can just skip this then. And uh, the people rallied against the beast, which sent it into a frenzy, but then they cried for help because no one would stop it. And we gotta get our second instrument! Wait, whoa, 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 don't go back up, please. Here it is! It's uh, the conch. I know the conch horn. I know it because you know I read it yesterday or the day before yesterday. And that's all for this episode. It's a short episode because uh, you know all the blind stuff was cut out. So is there anything to get over here? Nope. Just birds and birds here as well. And uh, so, okay, so that's actually spoilers because I didn't have these enemies last time I went here. So we're gonna stop here. Thanks for watching, and see you guys next time.